guys and welcome to power bi zone today i bring to you yet one more important and very tricky power bi interview question and this is related to the same model that we discussed in the previous video so i request you to definitely watch my previous video because it's as interesting as this one if you have not yet subscribed to the channel guys i request you to go ahead and subscribe to it which will inspire me to make more such interesting videos like this so enough of the talking let's get started as you can see in my screen i'm having the same model which has color and numbers so for this particular question we will just just be for this question we will be considering only this table called numbers which is having two columns color and quantity now one important thing to note if you have already not seen my previous video is look at these these two uh, these two rows so look at these two rows right the black one and black one it is absolutely identical so this is very important i'll let you know why so now let's deep dive into the question so we are going to have two measures and both the measures are going to use the dax function called all in the first measure we have all of numbers uh, which is this and we are applying count rows on top of all numbers so this is nothing but a table but if you take a look at the second measure it also uses all but all is used in two columns right color and quantity these ones so what do you think what will be the output are both the measure a and b going to return true or both of them will return different results and it will be false so guys if you do not know the usage of all very well you might not be able to answer this so let us go quickly to power bi desktop and see how to achieve this so for the sake of simplicity let me zoom this a bit i've created this particular table which says color so here it is going to have these colors and this is going to be the serial number but if you look closely this red over here it is repeating right so red is repeating and these two yellow ones are repeating let us quickly see what is the effect of all when you use it in the table level so i have created a very simple dac okay i hope this is visible so it is just going to say all and inside all i'll give the table name this is going to be my table name serial number and color so it returns 6 why because it is going to count at, at the table level so it is going to see how many unique rows are there at the table level so at the table level we obviously have 6 rows right which is why you are going to get 6 but at the same thing when you do it for the column level and let me show you the second measure which is this and we will apply it at the column level so this particular column called color is included as a parameter inside all and look at the result shockingly it is different right this is very very important keep it dead straight in your mind that all depends on whether you are going to use it at a table level or at a col column level M most of us might not even be aware of this fact so what does all do when a particular column is selected inside this is consider this particular column which is color right and in color see how many distinct colors are there in this color column right so you only have four because red repeats twice and yellow also repeats twice so distinct number of color is four which is why you are getting four after count rows is counting the number right so now that you know the fact how all works both at a table level and at a column level you'll be able to answer this question very easily let's go to the question now so this count all of numbers by the way i have written everything down over here so count all of numbers right let me quickly drag, drag and drop a card so you can ignore the top ones that was just for explanation now i'm going to solve the actual question so if i drag and drop this particular measure which is count rows all of numbers it returns 3 why if you go back over here and see the table again you see how many rows are there in this table Three. It's as simple as that. Imagine a unique index over here at the beginning, it, which gives you one, two, and three. So it's just going to do the count of that. But the second measure, and let me quickly pull one more card for that, which is measure one B, and which all is applied at the column level. So I'm having the column for color, and the other is quantity. I will have a unique combination. Select distinct of color and quantity. So if I go back. to my table and if i say give me the distinct combination of both these columns which is color and quantity so the answer will be 2 because black one is going to repeat twice right so it will consider only one time for black one and white three will be the second 
distinct combination. So if I drag and drop this particular measure which is measure 1B this one into my card I will be getting right so let's quickly go ahead and see the explanation so we will be giving both of them will be returning this will be returning 3 and this will be returning 2 so different right so the following two measures provide equivalent results the answer is false and it says correct and the explanation it is given is all of colors comma quantity returns just the distinct existing combination of these two columns and on the other hand all of numbers also contains a hidden row number column which ensures that even duplicate rows are retained which is why you're getting three rows. So guys, hope this question was very interesting for you. And by the way, uh, E and Y is asking this sort of questions in their interviews nowadays. So if you're preparing for any interview questions for E and Y, uh, I request you to go ahead and watch the entire series. And guys, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, do subscribe because I'll be bringing in such interesting Power BI questionnaire now and then and if you have any questions related to these concepts do mention them in the comment section i will try my level best to go ahead and answer them so till the next time we meet guys keep practicing power bi and have a great day bye bye